Hey guys, Faisal here with Galaxy S3 Soft Modder, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to get the new Galaxy S5's uh, ringtones and alert sounds and alarm sounds and all that good stuff onto your Galaxy S3 or other Android device uh, as long as you're rooted. Uh, I will have a non-root option to show you guys for uh, Galaxy devices specifically, but uh, first let's go and do the root option. So go ahead and grab the, the ringtone zip file that's uh, linked out in the full tutorial. Uh, if you download loaded directly to your device it should be in your download folder uh, otherwise it's going to be wherever you placed it uh, once you have that on here go ahead and open andro zip uh, i have a place or link out for that in the article as well uh, now i'm already in my download folder and the file is called galaxy s5 audio underscore sam mobile uh, they're the guys who are presenting this leak uh, so go ahead and tap on that and it'll give you an option, a uh, few options here. I'm going to go uh, and choose the second one, which is Extract 2. And then it's going to, uh, you can extract it wherever you want or you can create a new folder, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll go ahead and tap New and just type in a name. I will just do S5 and that's fine. Click OK. Uh, that folder will now be at the top of the list here. So go ahead and tap that and then just hit the extract to button right there. Oops, wrong button. Extract to. Uh, it's going to go ahead and extract all the files for you. Uh, it just takes a second and then now you're left with a folder here that's called audio. If you click that once, you'll see that there's four different segments here. You have alarms, notifications, ringtones, and UI. Uh, the first three are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, uh, UI is mainly um, different various system sounds, things like uh, you know the camera shutter and um, uh, you know the things that that really unless you turn off you don't have too much control over so now that we have those done uh, we're going to go ahead and open root browser I also have a link for that in uh, the article now um, you know this is where root comes in um, because uh, we are going to be writing these files to the system so what you want to do is if it opens up uh, just in you know the most um, the, the highest level on your uh, phone's uh, file system. You're going to go ahead and select SD and then go to download and then go into the folder that you just created. Uh, again, mine is S5. So I'm just going to show you this with, um, I'll just do the alarm sounds, but uh, the process is the same for the other categories. So click on audio, uh, alarms, and then uh, down here you're going to select um, multi select and hit the select button, which is selects them all and then uh, go ahead and hit copy. You can also hit move if you want these files to be erased once they're moved over, but I'm just gonna hit copy. Um, and then you're gonna go back, back, or just hit this green arrow until you get to the uppermost level, which is here, and you'll see the green arrow go away. And then go ahead and hit system, and media, and then audio. And you'll see that the same four categories that we downloaded are now here. So uh, for alarms, I'm just going to go ahead and tap there. Now what you may want to do before you even start any of this process is come into this uh, area where you have all four of the original ones and go ahead and copy them all and maybe uh, put them in a separate folder. That way if you don't like these new ringtone sounds, you don't have to go one by one to delete them. You can just delete them all and then recopy in all the original ones. So um, you know, if you have that done, um, you can go ahead and come here and then just hit the paste button. It'll copy over everything. Now if you notice, uh, I have an alert that says operation failed. Um, it didn't actually fail. Um, I'm not entirely sure why that's coming up. I think it has something to do with repeat entries uh, because a lot of the Samsung sounds will have the same names. Uh, but just because it said that does not mean it failed. Um, all you have to do now is, um, you know, if you want to go ahead and copy the other three, uh, do that now. And then when you're done, just restart your phone. And uh, now I've already have these installed, but uh, you do need to restart just to activate um, the, the new ringers. And then when you're all set, um, go ahead and go to settings. Now this looks a little different than yours. Um, and then go to sound. And in ringtone, you'll see a bunch of new stuff like, uh, again, like I have some duplicates because I did this twice, but you know, this is a new one. Um, there's a, a few new ones in here. And you know, I'm not going to go through them all. You can pick the one that you like the most. Um, personally, for me, I think the notification sounds are kind of cooler than the new ringtones, but I'll let you guys decide that for yourself. Now, uh, that's using the rooted method. Uh, if you don't have a rooted device, 
uh, but you do have a Samsung device, what you could do is uh, go ahead and follow steps one and two in the tutorial that uh, just puts the file onto your device and it unzips it. So we're going to do the same thing that we did at the beginning of the video. But now what you're going to do is go to settings and go to my device and go to sound. And from here, um, if you hit ringtones, you'll see a little add button down here. Tap that. And I think the easiest way to find the new ringtones is go to folder and you'll see the different folder locations. Um, now I have this under Galaxy S5 Audio, so if I want a new ringtone, I'm just gonna find that folder, click it, and then I have all the new ringtones here. Um, so you know, we'll pick one, go to done, and that's set. The only drawback to this is you know you, you can only add them one at a time, but you know you can still test out the different ones, and so this is not that bad of a way of doing it. And again, uh, you know, if you want notification sound, that's right under ringers. If you want to change the alarm sound, go to clock and, oops, go to clock. And what you're going to do is just, uh, you know, create a new alarm and, you know, set up all your time and whatever. And then just go to alarm tone and you have same option down here to add. Go over to folders, select your new folder for alarms, and you can pick any of these sounds. Sea breeze, that's fine. Um, and then, you know, save your alarm, whatever. Um, so, you know, pretty easy way to, uh, you know, add some new of the S5 flare to your existing S3s because, you know, as old as our devices are, they can still handle quite a bit. Um, and so this is just kind of the beginning of the leaks that are going to come out. Make sure you stay tuned with us uh, to keep up with all of them. Uh, don't forget to comment on the video, like, uh, like the video, and also subscribe to our channel. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.